Why do I drive past Underworld? Just keep going. Because eventually we'd fall off the world. Yeah, we could bin work, have a day to ourselves, have been to Formby Beach for a while. <laughs> I am not freezing my butt off at Formby Beach for no one. You put your thermals on. Do I look like the kind of woman who wears thermals? <laughs> I would rather die of hypothermia. Do you know what? I reckon I've got that SAD thing going. What's the? Mm, it's where you're dead depressed in winter months. Yeah. I could get my doctor to prescribe you an holiday, cos it is a real <laughs> medical condition, is SAD, you know. Only sunshine can cure it. Oh, but I have it too. Mm, flipping it. Look at her. She's got her claws into flipping Tony Gordon, hasn't she? I believe he's a very rich man. Could have had a go on me if it asked nicely. Oh. What's she got that I am there? Eh? Do you really want me to answer that? Anyway, it's not like you to start work so early. Are you adopting my work ethic? No. I'm trying to be discreet, aren't I? Don't want to give that lot anything to talk about. Oh, great. Today <laughs> would be the day they decide to be conscientious leaders. <laughs> Listen, you should have had that homework done last night. Yeah, I had other things on. If you spent as much time on your schoolwork as you do on that flipping games console, you'd be a genius. I'm not just messing about, you know. I'm gonna get a job at it. <laughs> Playing games in your dreams. Professional gamers make a bomb. What, are you telling me that people play games all day as a job? Yeah. I'd be proper rich if I got good at it. Buy your villa in Marbella, one of them infinity pools. Mm, well, if you put it like that. Listen, I know you're really keen and everything, but you are going to need a plan B, aren't you? I suppose. Right. So, you carry on with your gaming, on one condition. That you keep up with your schoolwork and all. Right. Right, Vicky, time for your English lesson. Today, we are going to learn all the different words for kissing. Kissing. OK. Very useful. Smacker. Smacker. Snog. Snog. All right, that's enough. Get on with work. Oh, don't worry about me, Mrs. Connor. I can multitask, see? Got a big brain. And there's me thinking you just had big hair. <laughs> Necking. Necking. All right. You've had your fun. Enough. Have I missed something? Yeah, Mrs. Connor playing tonsil tennis in the street this morning with catalogue torn. Hey, it's Mr. Gordon to you, if you don't mind. In the street, eh? Very classy. Eh? <laughs> tonsil tennis. I like that one. So, I'll give a man a goodbye kiss. Is there any law against it? Smooch. Smooch. You heard her, all right. Enough. What? Here we go. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Sally. Oh, you all right? No, not really. I've got to go to the dentist and my stomach's turning like mad. Oh, nothing too painful, I hope. Well, it's weak and I'll work. Oh, ouch. What you've got to do is demand loads of drugs. Uh, yeah, well, the dentist I go to, they've got a mural on the ceiling of fluffy clouds and bunnies and angels and what have you. He's fooling no one. It still hurts like hell. <laughs> yeah, we can cancel the lesson for tonight if you want. Oh, no, I'll be fine by then. Are you sure? I could always keep him occupied if he's at a loose end. <laughs> Just rebook it for tomorrow if you like. No, it's all right. I'll leave things as they are. At least I've got something to look forward to then, I'm not I? Oh, all right. Good luck, Sam. See Come on. Ya. Mrs. Carney, another tea. One sugar, right? Oh, about time, Linda. Well, I'm sorry I'm late, Audrey. So what happened? Traffic particularly bad this morning, was it? Or was your train delayed because somebody chucked themselves off the viaduct? Oh, I've said I'm sorry. Mrs. Carney's been here since nine o'clock. I've tried to locate her with a load of ginger nuts. I even offered her a fiver off the bill, but she's still got a face like a slapback sign. Oh, morning, Mrs. Canny. I'm sorry I've kept you. Um, do you want to take a seat at the backwash and I'll be with you in a minute? I came and knocked on your door five or six times. I even broke a flipping nail. Where were you? Well, I had some nips with the chemist. Oh, right. Getting something for your hangover, I suppose. Oh, I've not got a hangover. Yeah, all right, all right. Enough, thank you. Just don't expect me to have any sympathy, please, Maria. OK. Yeah. What's this then? Doing your own errands? I'd have thought you had a gopher for that. Hey, I still like to slum it from time to time. Reminds me where I've come from. Mm. So you're right then. 
Yeah, I slip out and now I'm on top four. Hmm? Suppose that's down to your new balloon. Yeah, it's got something to do with him, yeah, as it goes. <laughs> I really like him, Michelle. What, you mean, like him, like him? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I know. You know, I still have these weird moments, though, like last night. I had a dream about me and Paul. Mm, I still dream about him. Yeah, but it were lying next to me, or so I thought. I went over to kiss him, I was still half asleep, and I just got this feeling it was the wrong bloke. Oh, don't tell me. Then you woke up. Yeah, exactly. Oh. But, um, I don't know. I just don't want to be happy or sad. Anyway, how are you? Yeah, good, yeah. Things are still a bit cramped over at the Rovers, but, yeah, all right. How's Ryan? Oh, he's fine. He's getting really into this gaming thing. Mm, not new there, then. No. In fact, he's keener than ever. Now wants to take it up professionally. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it keeps him off the streets. Mm. Hey. If he wants, he can have Paul's games if he likes. You sure? Oh, what am I going to do with him? Well, I know, but... Getting short of his stuff. Stars seems a bit final. Well, that's perfect timing. Kettle's just boiling. All right. Oh, I've just stuck mine in. Don't worry about it. I will put mine on later. Oh, go on. I'm sure it'll be all right. Put it on. Go on. Yeah, love it. That's if you don't mind my dirty scanties rubbing up against yours. Aren't they great washing machines? Do you ever think that to yourself? Imagine what it was like in the olden days. Sitting next to a stream, bashing your clothes against a rock. You don't have time for now, tells. Still can't stand the sound of silence, then. <laughs> now then, do you want green tea or jasmine tea? Am I in the right house? I mean, Eileen is a strictly builder's tea kind of a bird. If it's not the colour of old penny, she's not interested. Yes, well, I, on the other hand, am trying something different. Variety is the Spice Girl of life, apparently. Go on, then. Surprise me. I'll whack in a bit of both, eh? See where that gets us. Mm. My God, I am but wild. You're a bon viveur, that's what you are. I certainly am. It's good to have you home. Mm. It's good to be home. Tell you what, Jamie and Liam, they are a right pair of scumbags. Oh, I never heard of a mop and bucket. Wouldn't know a feather duster if it bit him on the backside. <laughs> Wouldn't know a toilet duck if it quacked in the faces. <clears throat> I've missed you. Missed you too. Now, listen, don't, cos you'll have me blubbing all over my smart new jumper. Can't get too settled, though. I'm gonna have to think about moving out soon. Not cos of me? No, no. Don't be daft. I'm gonna need somewhere to put the baby. Oh, but you'll only be titchy. I could clear out a bottom drawer, I'd stick him in there. Yeah, all right, he might be small, but what about the ten tons of stuff that he comes with? Your unfeasibly good-looking son will travel light. He will have a capsule wardrobe of eight key pieces that he can mix and match. That's a nice idea. But me and Jamie are going to need to find a place of our own sooner or later. You're not thinking of emigrating, are you? Michelle's flat's still empty. Perfect. Mm. All we need to do is scrape together a deposit. We'll be sorted. I don't know if you want a custard cream or a fig roll. So what your ball. Good thinking, Mrs. Overall. Cheers. You cheeky becker. <laughs> what are you like? So you can tell a lot about a person by what they do, don't you? Oh, right. So now you're a psychologist as well as a tea lady cum machine, is that? <laughs> is she running a sex line on the side or something? She'd make a flaming fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the mango boxes. It says that you're really, really wound up and frustrated. Oh, well, see you later. Bye. Or maybe I'm just bored of people coming in here and talking a load of garbage. All right, thanks for the coffee, Kelly. Those are the only way out. Right. Do you have to be so? You know what I mean? It's like hearing your mum and dad at it. Oh, shut it, misery guts. Anybody who think you don't want me to be happy? Anyway, Tony wants us to meet him on Friday. Us? As in me and you? Yeah, for a business meeting. You know about that little deal we want to do? So are you up for it or what? All right. As long as you promise not to lick his face. I don't want to throw up all over his posh business suit, do I? You know, if you leave Mrs. Donaldson under that dram much longer, she'll be taking her hair home in a bag. 
saw it. Be through in a minute. Who's that colour for? Mrs. Winstanley. Oh, right, so she fancies going flaxen today, does she? No, she's just having a usual. So why are you using peroxide? She'll be walking out of here looking like Mae West. Oh, sorry. I should have checked. Give it to you, you silly girl. Goodness me. That's all we need. Let's let me know she'll be going to see a solicitor and suing me within an inch of my life. Oh, now, now, Maria, please, no, don't start turning on the waterworks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my head's all over the place today. Can you just give me five minutes to sort myself out? This isn't just a hangover, is it? What's wrong? I'm dreaming a mess. Yeah, but just tell me what's the matter. You never know. I might be able to help. No, oh, you can't. He's just... Oh, I've got to make a stupid mistake. Tell me. Come on. I'm sure it's nothing that we can't put right. Oh, Audrey, I'm pregnant. I'd go anywhere since my mum and dad weren't there, like boring. Yeah, no matter how old you are, have you realised they still treat you like a little kid? Oh, last year I went to Greece. They watched me like a hawk, especially my mum. Yeah, that's a job though, isn't it? Keep a little girl all sweet and nice. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that. I've got to go and see Steve about this English coursework. It's cabbage my head in. Ah, so it's God's stay. How much excitement can you take, eh? <laughs> I know. Right, hold on. I'll see you soon. I'll see you later, babe. You're still alive, though. You got away with it. No one suspected a thing, thankfully. <sighs> when I heard them come in, I thought I was going to have a heart attack or something. Yeah, but imagine how bad it was for me. I'm only twice your age. I know. You're a dirty old man, sister. Maybe it was a, a warning. Maybe it was. Imagine what they'd do to you if they found out. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Look, Rosie, this is too mad. I know. Don't you just love it? See you next week. Bye. Oh, come on, little Miss Sadface. Come and tell me all about it while we're quiet. There's not much to tell. Should have come on, but I didn't. Kept hoping and hoping that I was just late, but... So when did you find out? About Kit this morning. <sighs> there it was, you're pregnant. Do you know, I could kick myself. Apart from anything else, I just feel so ashamed. Oh, Maria, we all make mistakes. And look, I'm speaking as someone who knows. Yeah, but this is the second time I've let this happen to me, getting pregnant. I'm so stupid, I never learn. Hello, don't be so hard on yourself. I can see you're not exactly jumping for joy, though. Audrey, this is the last thing I need right now. Yeah, well, you're still in shock. I'm too young. I like my life the way it is. I know. And me and Liam have only just got together. He's probably going to run a mile when I tell him. Well, no, you don't know that. He might surprise you. Live in a rented flat. And still got loads to learn about my job. The timing couldn't be any worse. Me and Liam are ambitious and we want to make good lives for ourselves, you know, and live, travel. Well, you have got a lot of serious thinking to do, my darling. Yeah, I know that. But you're not to do it on your own. Right, now, tell Liam. See what he's got to say. Oh, come on, it's our day off. Let's go and do something. Guess what I fancy? <gasps> Give us a clue. Um, it involves a lot of acrylic. No, you've lost me. Trying on wigs in town! Oh, oh, the fun I've had. It's a laugh a minute. I can see you as a Tina Turner. Actually, I'm more of a Doris Day. Or a Susie Quattro if I'm feeling a bit slutty. Question is, can we be mithered schlapping into town? Oh, should we get another round in first? Yeah. After we've had this one. You know, you, I think you're wasted as an ultrasound man. I think you should work for the UN. Why is that? Better uniforms? It's just like your peacemaking abilities. 
I mean, I thought I'd never speak to Violet again. And there we were this morning, making pathetic jokes over a nice cup of jasmine tea, just like the old days. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's horrible when you fall out with a mate. Well, like that, me and her. That's me, underneath, mm. in case you're wondering. Passive, servile, watching my mouth. That'll make a nice change. Fine, Jamie, are getting a place together. Flat round the corner. Well, I suppose it had to happen sooner or later. It's cool, though. I'm fine with it. In fact, I'm going to help him out. Oh, well, tell me when and I'll be there. Moving boxes, stripping wallpaper. I'm a natural. I meant financially. I'm going to help him out with a few quid. You know, for the deposit. I take it you've discussed this with them? No, I will. Sean, well, just go easy, OK? You don't want them taking it the wrong way. It's 500 quid. They're skint, they need it. I'm doing a good thing. How can they take that the wrong way? Oh, I like a really good horror movie, and there's nothing better than being scared after death. Just look in the mirror. Come on, My favourite view is Nigdi v Zivshu. And what does that mean? Never in my life. It's a romantic comedy, it's very funny, about a journalist whose husband gets another woman pregnant and leaves her. That's a disaster movie, not a comedy. Well, there's more to it than that. Obviously. Casablanca. Now, that has got to be the most romantic film ever. Check out the ice queen. Carry on like that, we'll start thinking you've got a heart. Well, Bogart and Bergman, now there is a pair that were made for each other. And did they get it together? No. No, they did sad, actually. What meant to be gets me every time. I hate black and white films, me. I think if a film gets that old, then they should just burn it. <laughs> Busting for a was. And we need to know this because... If I go now, you can guarantee Arnie will ring back with that quote, won't he? So what? Just call him back. He's like the Scarlet Pimpernel, that one. Impossible to get hold of. Here, you could get one of them bags fitted, Mr Connor. <laughs> My Auntie Shirley had one done. Yeah, she can drink absolutely anybody under the table. Hiya, uh, sorry. Thought you might be on your dinner. Hi, gorgeous. Shame you didn't come in sooner. You have just missed a fascinating film critique from all of my esteemed colleagues. Right. Um, do you fancy looking into the rovers? I would, only I'm waiting for a phone call. Oh, OK, never mind. It was just a thought anyway. I'll be fixed for later. Oh, that'll be him now. Um, I'll see you in the rovers. I'll text you, yeah? Cheers, Adam. Thank you. I'll get these back to you soon, else. I'm sure most of them will make perfect bedtime reading. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, you're so funny. If I had a girlfriend like his, I'd be doing him bed his reading. Is this it? Yeah. Well, it seems like half of it's missing. Yeah, it's only because she's got half a brain. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lee. Anyway, you can talk. So? What have you got to say for yourself? Well, I was meant to do it this weekend. But this thing happened and I just got really distracted. We'll discuss this later. Look, it's just a one-off payment. It's not like I'm going to be shelling out every month. It's a deposit. It's really good of you, but are you not worried? About what? That Vi's going to think you're sticking your oar in again? No, look, I'm just helping out a friend in her hour of need. I mean, if she didn't buy that, then I'll say it's for the baby and not for her. Yeah, but why is that going to make it any better? You're giving her 500 quid for her baby. Not your baby, remember? Hers. OK, if I'm honest, I'm going tactical. Go on. You, sir, are looking at the all-new, improved Sean Tully. I used to be the kind of person that'd blurt anything out and then regret it later. Not now. The new, improved me is more mature, he's calm, sensible. I may even buy an Aaron sweater. You've just described Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews with a twist. Mm. Look, it's a sweetener, isn't it? You know, if I give her the dosh, help her put a roof over his little head, then she'll have to let me see him, because otherwise the guilt will take over. Unbelievable. Because deep down, Violet is a decent person. So if I help her... Classic. I had no idea you was a Machiavellian. <laughs> Watch and learn, my sweet little prince. Watch and learn. Mm. See, I do sort of think that Liam's the one, but that's all the more reason not to mess it up, isn't it? 
can't believe I've been so stupid. Oh, it takes two to tango. It's not your fault. Audrey, I'm a walking disaster when it comes to relationships. Look, I've told you, don't be so hard on yourself. And to tell the truth, it's something a lot of us have to struggle with and it doesn't get any easier with age. Do you really care about him? Love him, I suppose. Just don't know how he feels about me. Oh, he's mad about you. I've seen the way he looks at you. Yeah, but that you were baby wasn't part of the plan. No, no, no. You really have got to talk to him, Maria. Don't, I'm dreading it. What if he dumps me? Well, remember, darling, whatever happens, you're not on your own. I mean, you've got lots of friends who care for you. Mm. And I'm always here if you should need me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Connor. Is that the cup of tea you promised to make me? Can't bang to right. You never met Butterbrew, you don don't. You say you will, but you never actually deliver. Black Morseman. Vicky Dankowska is eagle-eyed action man. Never misses a trick, that one. I see everything, Mr. Connor. It's my superpower. My superpower is my leg. Oh, could you crack a bloke's skull with those times? Excuse me. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Where's Eagle Eye when you need her? I'm looking for Carla. Carla Connor? Oh, you found her, love. I can help you. Whoa! That is for wrecking my marriage! Who the hell are you? I'm Tony's wife. Should I call the police? You stay away from him. Next time I'll rip your head off. And you're nothing special, love. You're just one in a very long line of slappers. Are you all right, Carla? Yeah, stop playing with us. Go after her. Go on! <laughs> Here. Get your hands off me! I'll do you for assault! Uh, pot kettle black! Who are you, a minder? Or a other fella? This gets better. I'm a mate. I work with her. Now, what do you think you're playing at? Oh, this is between me and her. Not when you do it in my factory, it ain't. Well, she's sleeping with my man. Is that enough for you? He's still with you? Yeah, he was when he met her. Yeah, well, happened she didn't know that. Well, happened she's bitten off more than she can chew. Just you wait until she does something he disapproves of. I hope you're around to pick up the pieces then. What are you on about? Oh, I've said enough. No, tell me. Do you really want to know? Girls was a part of a training exercise. Now I paid that woman to come in and do that, so I'll be testing you all on it later. See how observant you are. All right. That knocks the head. Must have sent her for now. Are you all right? Some stranger waltzes in and smacks me. Take a wild guess. He's a wrong one, Carla. Tony's. Is a wrong one? I spoke to her outside. Oh, and I suppose she made a load of sense. She looked like the rational type. He was still with her when he met you. Have you phoned Watkins back? He's a womanizer, he's a liar, and he's a control freak. Liam! Carla, would you listen to me, please? I don't want to see you be treated like this. You deserve better. I'll ring them back in a minute. Make sure you do. Hiya, Gorge. Listen, I wonder if you might stop by later. It's just that you know that new dress I'm wearing. I think it might be that short. It's illegal. I wonder if you'd measure it for me. I'll make sure you do. Bye. Listen, thanks for the heads up, Liam. But don't lose any sleep over me. Now, oh, come on, I'm Watkins. Can you all put your chairs on your desk, please? I don't want to incur the wrath of Carmelita the cleaner again. Rosie? Can I have a word, please? Yes, sir. Your essay. 
What about it? Well, it's um, it's too short. Looks like he could have written it on the bog or something. Bog, sir? That's a bit over-familiar, isn't it? I've seen longer betting slips. Better be careful. Some might class the word bog as inappropriate. I think somebody of your intelligence and an dross is inappropriate. Well, had a lot on. Do it again. What? What I had on? The essay. Are you serious? You two, you're harder to track down than a well-tailored pair of cocktail trousers, Mardi Gras week. Well, you texted. I said we were here. How hard can it be? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Never come between a queen and a pleasing image. Here you go. What's this? Well, it was only going dusty in my building society. There's a shed load of money in here. Nudging the flaps of 500, actually. It's for a good cause. You ain't a charity, mate. Oh, you're not? Oh, I thought you were. Don't insult me, Jamie. You're my mates. You need it, I don't. Oh, come on, Sean. Everybody needs 500 quid. Yeah, but I'd only spend it on tank tops and fake tan and shame ward lookalikes. Oh. We can't take the money, Sean. It's to go towards your deposit. I know. Hey, look, it's dead nice of you, but... But what? Well, we'll, we'll find ourselves somehow. Well, hello, you have. Gift off, mouth, ring any bells. We'll find ourselves. Can you see which of these are prawn cocktails? Oh, they've left me all the glasses at home. Er, uh, mango chutney and sweet chilli. Sorry, Betty. I knew it. Well, they all taste the same anyway. Do you know, whoever orders these poncy crisps, they want shooting. <laughs> all right. Hiya, love. You got any homework? God, give me a chance to get through the door at least. No, it's just because I've got a surprise for you. That's all. Go and have a look in there. Mum, since when did you become cool? Oh, I didn't. I'm still very much uncool, but thanks for bringing it up. It's from Auntie Carla. Was your Uncle Paul stuff? For me? Yep, and you can play it to your heart's content once you've done your own work. So why don't you get that homework diary out and let's start planning your evening. No, 680, love, please. How much now? <laughs> 680. That's all I've got. <laughs> Kate, then, what are you playing at? You scared the living daylights out of me. Who are you listening to? Katie Mellower. Did you know there's nine million bicycles in Beijing? Try saying that when you've had a pull pack to me. What? Root canal work. All right. Kevin, am I dull? No. No, go on, be honest. Well... Oh, I don't know how you put up with me. I didn't marry if you chasing music, you know. And I'm always banging on about my course, aren't I? Oh, come on. <sighs> I don't know why I did this studying. What am I playing at, trying to better myself? Making a fool of myself, more <laughs> like. Where are you going? Oh, I said I'll meet Ashley for a pint. I don't want to gatecrash your lesson. I always feel like I'm in detention. <laughs> Scott looks perilously long to me. What's going on? Do you want me to hang around? No, you're all right. Fancy the pub. I think it's probably best all around if we stop here. Unless, of course, you want the world to know your ex turned up here today. Practically decked me. No, here's fine. Oh, thanks for minding me stuff. Oh, you're all right. I really needed that. Hey, too much information, love. <laughs> Had a wash. How old are you? I'm old enough to know that you're trouble. You have another. What champagne have you got? Newton and Ridley's. I'll just have a spritzer. Really? A large one. 
Right. I'm a bit of a size queen. Right. Anyway, this is me mate, Kev. <laughs> and what's your name? Ashley. We don't look like an Ashley. Well, what do I look like? A Norman. Oh, but no offence. <laughs> I think Norman's a hot. <laughs> what's he look like? Enrique. Enrique? Oh, that's a new one on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've lived abroad for a while. Ibiza? Yes, well, never mind the Balear. It shows the colour of your money. Oh, you are a Mardi piece. Two twenty. And your prices are shocking. Wasn't like this in Manumission. No. That's where I worked. Oh, shame. Manumission? It's a club. What's a barmaid? Cage dancer. Like yourself. <laughs> and of a day, hair by Ricardo. I gave the best blow dries in town. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe that, love. <laughs> So is Violet working tonight, or what? Uh, no. It's just a funny thing, that. Violet always has such nice friends. Boring friends. Thank God I'm not one of them. Yeah, good. And my kid's sister. You know what, like you. Good. If I was, I'd be worried. Uh, she's all right. I bet you love her. Well, she's very respectful. She's morbid. Always had her head in a book when we were growing up. Me? I always had mine in a book. <laughs> what crisps have you got? Ponzi. I've got a taste for nuts. Have you? Yeah. I mean, she said you two were still together when we met. I oh, couldn't... she's mad. Will you stop interrupting me? You're always interrupting me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! And why are you shouting at me? Surely, if anybody's got the right to shout, it's me. OK, now she told Liam that you were a womaniser, that you couldn't be trusted. What's going on, Tony? Can I speak? She's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Any bit of truth, she'd twist it. Was she staying with me? Yes, she was staying with me. Were we together? No. Why was she still with me? Because a silly... Because she didn't move out after the divorce. But when I met you, I kicked her out. Why do you think she was so angry? I can't believe I'm having to defend myself over something she said. You don't know her. What? Guess what I missed? At the factory. Oh, I'm that mad I didn't go in. Only Carla and some bird off the street having a scrap. Mm. Cat fighting they were. Air everywhere. Blood. I think Carla was rushed to hospital. Mm. I think she might actually be dead. And if she comes into work tomorrow? Then we'll know that the Bible was right. People do come back. Violet, mm. take my money. Sean, I would love to. Nothing would please me more. It'd be a weight off my mind. Honestly, you need it more than I do. And look, I know it's a lot, and I know it wouldn't feel right taking it, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel right me keeping it now. It's just Jamie. He's so set against it. It's like it offends his masculinity or something. He's got to be able to provide, yada, yada, yada. Well, think of it like a loan. Pay me back, whenever. I know it's dead nice of you, but... Oh, come on. Come to Rovers. I shall join you in a glass of orange squash. Let's see if we can sort something. So you're saying you're not a womaniser then? Hmm? Ladies' man? I like women. And in the past I've liked lots of women. I'm getting a bit long in the tooth for that now, OK? Control freak? Lindsay made my life hell for the past eight and a half years. I'm not going to let her ruin the rest of it. And if you want to believe every bit of madness, then maybe I should go. Should I go? You all right? Of course. Just she's been in a funny mood ever since she got back from your mistress. My mistress? What are you talking about? The factory. You're obsessed with it. I've got my own business, Maria. I'm not a number on a clocking off card. Oh, and I am. Did I say that? Right. 
Hiya. All right? Is your mum in? I thought she'd miss a hot day with you. John, I can't let the grade slip. I've already missed half a term's work. Rosie, your essay was not long. It was only short. Because when I was supposed to be writing it, I was in bed with you. So, it doesn't seem fair that you punish me, if you know what I mean. And what you mean is you want me to treat you differently Exactly. It's your choice, John. The way I see it, you've got two options. One, we knock this on the head and I get good grades. Or, we continue our arrangement and now and again, I hand in substandard work. Oh, hiya, John. Hi, Sally, you're right. We were just yeah. discussing my essay. No doubt brilliant as ever. <laughs> oh, it's not told me yet. How was it? Was it up to scratch? Uh, well, I haven't actually read it yet, Rosie. But I'm sure it'll be cracking. Yeah. Do you want to come through, John? <laughs> yeah, see you, Kev. Oh, hi, you? Hi. And your sister's a right laugh. Hey. Mm. Oh, my gosh, Lauren. <gasps> Johnny! Hi, what are you doing here? <gasps> you look well. Thanks. Oh, and someone's had their hands in the cookie jar. What happened to you? Uh, well, it's it's something to do with unprotected sex. You might have heard of it. Mm. <laughs> Still sweetness and light, I take it. Bringing joy to anyone who crosses your path. So who's the father? Don't tell me. Some geek you had to pay to sleep with you. I'm thirsty, Sean. Do Mum and Dad know? No, they don't. I'd rather keep it that way. Who's the dad, Sean? Is he gorgeous? Oh, yes. 100% gorgeous. Very stylish. In fact, some would say the epitome of panache. Who is he by? You're looking at him. Uh, Shawnee. Although I do tend to get called Sean nowadays. Oh, God, get me a stiff one. That's what I said. <laughs> What's that smell in the air? Political correctness gone mad. What's wrong, Vi? Could you not get a straight bloke to sleep with you? Would you like to speak any louder, please, Lauren? I think there's glasses shaking in Glasgow. Lauren, it's, um, it's a long story. Oh, I like a long story. You liar! You fell asleep during Topsy and Tim go to the beach. Uh, right. Um, could I have a body for me, an orange juice for Vi, and a gag for Violet's sister, please, Betty mm. Cop? It'll be a pleasure. I thought you were sticking to orange. Well, I've had a shock. So go on then. What brings you back from the island of debauchery? It's within you. It is. Oh, I don't know. I mean, what have I got in common with William Shakespeare? Shakespeare was a brummy. He wrote for the masses, not for the toffee old snobs. He was the X factor of his day. I'm just worrying I'm wasting your time. Hey, if I didn't think you were up to it, I wouldn't have said. I sit there watching the television with Kevin sometimes and I try and think of things to say to him in iambic pentameters. You know, even if it's just going to put the kettle on Kevin and I... I can't, I just can't. Hiya. Sally, you need to let it go. You're trying too hard. Yeah, Mum. It's a better way to get good grades. Oh, Rosie, if you're going to interrupt, at least speak sense. Does anybody want a break? Oh. Yeah, cheers. Oh, it's good to be back. I've missed Manchester. Oh, we've missed you. Here's you wanted to come back and me wanting to get out. You don't want to get out, do you? Oh, don't worry, Sean. People like me don't get out. <coughs> People like me drift from one day to the next with nothing in their purse but a bit of old chewy and an old bus ticket. Sorry. So what are your plans now? Get rotten, have a hangover, plan the rest of my life. Can I smell kebab? Finally over between you and what's his name then? Fridge magnet. Yeah, he lived up to his name. He was too clingy. You gonna stay at Mum's? Oh, you can always stay at ours. Oh yeah, Eileen would love that. Eileen would. Ow! Oh, and maybe I could get to meet the elusive Jamie. Hey, hands off. It's all right. I'm not after your hand me downs anymore. Anyway, can't tonight because it's his bell ringing practice. You are joking. He's working. Why do you think I've come here and not gone back to Mum's side? I can't go back there. Why? What happened? 
You don't know our dad. Count yourself lucky. I've not got much stuff and I wanted to see you. I don't believe you. Sounded good though, didn't it? <laughs> so, what's this Eileen like? What, so she just came in and slapped her? A couple of years ago, I'd have paid to see her. Wonder what she's been up to, the dirty cow. Um, nothing. Makes you wonder though, doesn't it? I mean, the funny thing was when our Paul died. Yeah, that was absolutely hilarious. She made out like he was a bad lad and she was a saint, when really they were just as bad as each other. I mean, the family she comes from, and our estate, they were the roughest. They weren't that bad. They covered our Ryan's football in creosote, Liam. It was only two, he had to go to hospital. Yeah, but that wasn't Carla herself, was it? And what about her mother? You never saw a mother wearing shoes. Even when their Darren got sent down, what did she go to court in? Slippers. Mm. I know. Actually, I think you'll find they were fluffy mules, which is worse. Well, Carla must have done something to provoke this. What was her name? Linda. And she was Tony's ex. Only she reckons that her and Tony were still seeing each other when he met Carla. Why is all this of interest to you, anyway? I'm in business with a bloke. I want to make sure he's kosher, don't I? Do you know what? I'm going to sit down. If I have to hear one more word about that flipping factory, I'll stick my head in a microwave. It's out of order, isn't it, Michelle? Is she all right? Yeah, why wouldn't she be? Oh, I love her. Um, any more thoughts about mm. you? Nah. Can't seem to find the right time to tell him, Audra. Oh, sweetheart, there's really a right time when you're telling your fella that you're pregnant, believe me. Yeah, well, I think I'm just going to wait a bit until I've made my mind up what I want to do. Okay. I'll get a drink. How bad are you at this? Hey, in my day, we were excited by two lines hitting the ball backwards and forwards. This is well hard. Steve, can you cover for me while I go and put another wash on, please? Yeah, in a minute. Well, either that or go and sort out the washing machine. It's up to you. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Steve! Not you giving in, then? Blame your mother. Give me stride, then. Mm. Anyway, come on, it's your bedtime now, Ryan. I won't tell you twice. I've just got on to the next level. Yeah, next floor up, your room. Come on. <sighs> Actually, you know what? I don't feel too well. Do you mind if we go home? What are you? Yeah, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just fancy some telly in bed. Excellent. I've got Blades of Glory to watch on DVD, and I will make you Liam's Cure All. Oh, yeah, what's that? Honey, hot lemon, whiskey, ginger, a little bit of garlic. Knocks you out and kills all known germs dead. I can't believe you've taken him back. I can't believe you can't believe it. It's bad news. Not that it's any of your business, Liam, but uh, his wife was a mentalist. Oh, she seemed about right to me. He's the dodgy one. Quick question. Why are you so interested in my personal life? Why do you think? William, what are you doing? Oh, he's all yours, Maria. I'll be there in a minute. I worry about you, your family. I'm not your sister. I know that. I don't need protecting. I think you do. Liam! Come in. Get back to your area. Hey, darling. You can see all the extra behind-the-scenes goings-on with Get Me Out of Here now tomorrow at 10.30. Next tonight, though, Kate and Peter are unleashed.